Many people today get married in a sprint. And what they find is, is that everything's passionate, everything's wonderful, everything's incredible right before it crashes. But the marathon mentality says, it's not what we can make happen, it's what we can keep happening. What can we keep happening for 61 years? What can we keep happening for the rest of our lives rather than what can we make happen for a few months or a few years You know, while we're falling in love and while we're securing the relationship or something like that, and then the thing falls apart. Marriage is like two rivers that come together. When you're dating, you're like parallel rivers. You're, you're adjoining each other, you're examining each other, you think you know each other, but when you get married, it's like two rivers that come together and there's the immediate crashing, you know, just the, the personalities, the different uh, people, the different, you know, desires, whatever you wanna say, personas that come together and there's a lot of turbulence, there's a lot going on. But what happens is the longer you're married, God's way, in the marathon mentality, the more you become one, the more it becomes peaceful, it becomes joyful. And I'm saying you absolutely can have a marriage that gets better and better and better, and you can have a marriage that lasts for the rest of your life. You've got to get out of the sprint mentality, and you've got to get out of the fear mentality. When you're operating in fear, it will make your fears come true. But when you're operating in faith, it will make your dreams come true. When Karen and I married, we were full of fear, and we had a sprint mentality. And so we almost divorced. I mean, it was by the grace of God that we made it. Now, this is a very, very important question. What is the source of your love? When you say you love someone, what is the source of that? Now, again, most of us have never thought about this, but I want you to think about it. And when you, when you ask a person that's in love, um, they're married, they're in love, what, is, what fuels your passion for your marriage? What fuels your love for your spouse? The typical answers are passion, chemistry. We, we just have great chemistry. We're soulmates. That's kind of a big phrase today sexual attraction, we're best friends, we enjoy being together, you know, all the above or whatever. And so those are the answers. But life happens, conflict, children, finances, job stress, hurts from our past, temptation and sins, mistakes, failures, hurtful words, taxes, bills, illness, in-laws, the devil, the world, all of that happens to us and it drains our batteries. I mean, all of that's gonna happen. Again, the marathon mentality says, we have got to run this race in such a way that we can endure whatever's coming. The sprint, sprinters don't think like that. The, the sprinters have a completely different mentality. And a lot of people who fail in marriage, they're sprinters who don't have a resource deep enough, a lasting resource to fuel their love long-term. But when I go and pray, you know what God does? He fills me with his love for her because his love is perfect, permanent, and powerful. He'll never take an offense against her. He'll never reject her. He'll never stop believing in her, ever. So if I try to get her to meet that need, it's okay. if I try to meet my need myself, I know, I've seen what I can do. But every time I turn to God, He fills me with a supernatural, perfect love for Karen and we've been married 40 years, and I love that sister. And I'm gonna be married to her for the rest of my life because of God.